Hello and welcome to Crypto TV. I'm your news host Jasnoor Kaur and let's get into the headlines. Cryptocurrency's route deepens after Celsius freezes customers' assets. Crypto lender Celsius halts withdrawals, transfers on extreme market conditions. Binance temporarily halts Bitcoin withdrawal amid market mayhem. Nexo offers to buy rival lender Celsius' crypto assets faces rebuff. Binance.us faces class action lawsuit over Luna UST sale. Facebook parent Meta to launch Metaverse Academy in France. Blockchain platform WeChain inks a hundred million dollars deal with UFC. Crypto.com lays off five percent of corporate staff, citing market downturn. Now let's get into the details. The route in cryptocurrencies deepened after decentralized finance platform Celsius froze withdrawals and transfers for customers and also halted all trading activities amid uncertain macroeconomic conditions. Bitcoin plunged below $23,600 in intraday trades, its lowest level since December 2020. The total market capitalization of the cryptocurrency market has now shrunk to less than one trillion dollars, the lowest level in 17 months. Cryptocurrencies began its slide on Friday, soon after data showed U.S. retail inflation unexpectedly climbed to a fresh four-decade high, reviving fears of prolonged aggressive Federal Reserve rate hikes, which could push the U.S. economy into a recession. Investors were looking forward to a pause in the spate of rate hikes sometime later this year amid expectations of an easing in inflation. U.S. stocks plummeted lower in early Monday morning trades, with the S&P 500 index and tech-heavy Nasdaq 100 benchmarks sliding over 2.5 percent and 3 percent, respectively. The extreme market conditions today forced crypto lending platform Celsius to pause withdrawals and transfers, while Tron, another algorithmic stablecoin, was facing difficulty in maintaining its peg. Cryptowire's IC15 index was down over 13% to trade at around $29,800. All the constituents of the benchmark were trading lower by nearly 10%. Crypto lending platform the Celsius Network announced that it was pausing all withdrawals and transfers between accounts owing to extreme market conditions. Cryptocurrency market capitalization plunged below $1 trillion on Monday, the lowest level since January 2021 to $926 billion in intraday trades. Celsius, among the largest decentralized finance platforms, has also paused all trading activities. In a mail to customers, the lender admitted that the current market conditions had played a large role in its decision to freeze withdrawals. After Celsius's announcement, Bitcoin fell more than 12% to an 18-month low of $24,000, while Ethereum dropped to its lowest since March 2021 of $1,240. Meanwhile, reports said that the Alex Mashinsky and S. Daniel Leon founded company had unloaded $247 million worth of wrapped Bitcoin or WBTC from Aave and sent it to the FTX exchange. Celsius's token CEL plummeted to 18 cents after seeing a 52% drop in the past 24 hours. The token traded around $7 in June 2021. Celsius has not given a date for when the customers would be able to withdraw again, instead warning customers that this process will take time and there may be delays. Cryptocurrency exchange Binance has temporarily halted Bitcoin withdrawals due to extreme market turbulence, according to a tweet posted by CEO Changpeng Zhao. Zhao has assured users that their funds are safe, claiming that the suspension of withdrawals is linked to a backlog caused by a stuck on-chain transaction. The Binance team is currently working on a solution, an official announcement says. Zhao claims that the problem is expected to be fixed in half an hour.
The total cryptocurrency market capitalization has dropped below the $1 trillion level for the first time since January 2021 amid the worsening sell-off. Crypto lending firm Nexo said it wants to buy beleaguered rival Celsius's asset, but the offer was turned down. In a Twitter thread posted today, Nexo said it had reached out to Celsius's team to acquire any remaining qualifying assets, mainly their collateralized loan portfolio. Celsius is reeling under pressure given the crypto downturn, which has seen Bitcoin drop below $24,000. Earlier today, Celsius suddenly paused withdrawals, swaps and transfers between accounts, citing extreme market conditions. Nexo has put together an offer to Celsius in a formal letter of intent. The offer is valid until 4.30 a.m. UTC on June 20th unless accepted or rejected by the seller or withdrawn by the buyer prior to that time. Binance.us, the sister company of global cryptocurrency exchange Binance, is facing a class action lawsuit from investors for the sale of Luna and Terra USD or USD. A group of investors filed a class action lawsuit in the Northern District of California on Monday, alleging that Binance sold unregistered securities in the form of Luna and USD to investors and misled them into buying them. The lawsuit was filed by law firms Roche Friedman and Donson Nagy and Fleissig on behalf of several investors who lost their money during the recent Luna and USD spiral collapse. The lawsuit alleged that Binance.us is not registered as a broker-dealer in the United States and thus clearly violates US securities laws. Kyle Roche, founder of Roche Friedman, had earlier requested Luna investors to contact the firm in case they bought Luna on any of the leading crypto exchanges in the US. Thus, the lawsuit against Binance could be the first of many. Mark Zuckerberg's Meta on Sunday announced that they will launch a Metaverse Academy in France. The schools would be launched in collaboration with Simplon, a French digital training firm. Meta's Vice President for Southern Europe, Laurent Solly, confirmed that the aim of the school is to train 100 students for free in two specific roles, specialist immersive technology developers and assistance technicians in their first year. The schools will be located in Paris, Lyon, Marseille and Nice with 20 students per city each year. The teaching method will be in-person and revolve around projects with a focus on the 3D world and interactions in the virtual universes. Blockchain application platform VeChain has secured a five-year $100 million deal with mixed martial arts organization Ultimate Fighting Champion or UFC. As part of the deal, UFC will provide VeChain with unprecedented integration into the organization's assets. VeChain will hold title rights to UFC's official fighter rankings. It will see its branding represented inside the UFC octagon at all events. VeChain will have visibility across UFC's digital and social channels. The deal exposes VeChain to roughly 900 million households across 175 countries. The two new business partners will also work together to create custom and original content. That's all for the day. I'm your news host, Just Noor Kaur, signing off and keep watching Crypto TV.